Hey coin collectors, in this video I'm going to go through what are some of the most rarer circulated coins that you can find in Australia, starting from the five cents and working my way up to the two dollars. Uh, so I'll just show you some of the more unique uh, coins that you can find that are quite rare and limited. Uh, with this background of Uluru, the red centre of Australia in the desert as well. I thought, what a unique place to talk about some of the key collecting coins uh, within Australia than having it out in the outback as well. So let's start off with this one here. This is the, the change over 2016 uh, five cent coin, uh, minted to 4.8 million. So it was quite a limited uh, set uh, of these, but definitely uh, one to have in your collection as well. Uh, the rarest one is the Jody Clark Effigy 2019 at 2 million. This is one of the most uh, rarest five cent coins. Uh, two, million dollar, two million is quite still high, uh, but this is the Jody Clark version as well. So a really, really good one to collect. The next one is uh, the Jody Clark uh, 10 cent coin here. So this is also from 2019, uh, only limited to 2 million. So very low limited uh, mintage for a 10 cent coin as well. Uh, we've also got another 2 million, uh, 2085. So very, very low mintage uh, for 2085 at 2 million. Uh, especially trying to get these in good condition as well is very hard as well. So definitely uh, one to, to get if you can. And then the lowest mintage for a 10 cent coin that's in circulation is this 2011 uh, 10 cent coin at 1.7 million. Uh, very, very low uh, mintage for a 10 cent coin and definitely something uh, if you can get to now into the 20 cent coins this one was from 2001 uh this is the 20 cent coin as well so this is from the uh act uh 2.1 million a very low mintage on that same year the norfolk islands as well so this has also got a 2.1 so very very low mintage uh from this uh 2001 collection uh, the next last one is the Jody Clark uh, from 2019 at only 2 million. Uh, definitely uh, a good one. All the ones with the Jody Clark effigy are really, really good ones to collect as well. The lowest one to get is this 1988 uh, 20 cent coin at only 200,000. Definitely one to collect. You pretty much can only get them in the, the sets as well. So uh, to get them in this kind of condition as well is kind of rare but they're still quite affordable so definitely one to collect if you can as well so next we'll go into the 50 cents so this one is from 2091 this is probably one of my most favorite to be honest the ram uh coin so it's not very very low mintage uh, but to me, it's a great iconic Australian 50 cent coin, and I really like it. So it's definitely uh, one I put in there just more because I'm quite a fan. So the next one is at 1.4 million from 2017. Uh, this one's the one with the Aboriginal older. So uh, this is all about the 50 years of the, the voice, uh, and it just so happens that we've got the vote uh, for the voice uh, in a couple of weeks from when I'm filming this. Uh, so it's pretty iconic that I'm filming this in front of Uluru as well, talking about this coin. Uh, the next one I've got is at 1.1 million. It's just a 50 cent coin as well. So it's this one here. So this is definitely a good 50 cent coin to collect. Uh, this is a 2020 coin, so for the 50 cent coin, so a very low mintage for a 50 cent coin. The next uh, 50 cent coin is 2019, the RB uh, version of the 50 cent coin effigy as well. Uh, very low mintage of 1.1 million, uh, definitely a, a very, very low mintage uh, for this coin, for this effigy as well. So. 
And the next one at this at one million is uh, 1993 uh, 50 cent coin. So very, very low mintage uh, for this one as well. And uh, can be quite hard to get in a reasonable good condition. So definitely uh, one to stack. And the last 50 cent coin I've got is 1985. Again at one million, uh, really, really good coin with a coat of arms uh, what better place to look at the coat of arms of Australia than having Uluru in the background as well just an absolutely iconic location uh, to be talking about this rare coin as well next we'll go into the one dollar coin so I've got the 2019 Jody Clark one dollar coin with a mob of ruse uh, there at 2.1 million uh, very very low mintage as well uh, and you can see there, there's a queen with a Jody Clark effigy on there as well. Next, we've got the 2020 uh, coin, one dollar coin, only limited to two million. This is the Qantas uh, Centenary as coin, so it's a really, really good, unique coin to collect. Uh, everyone loves Qantas in Australia. Uh, and again, what an iconic place to look at this Qantas coin right in front of Uluru as well. And then the lowest mintage is only 10,000. This is the 2022 uh, Mobaroo's very, very low uh, mintage on this one as well. Uh, definitely one to, to collect and, and hold uh, in your coin set as well. So definitely happy to have one of these. Uh, not sure if they're only coming out in the proofs uh, uncirculated sets but uh, definitely one one to, to stack and then we'll go on to the two dollars all right the lowest minted aboriginal elder two dollar coin is this 2011 uh, version of it uh, only at 1.8 million uh, so very low uh, one with queen on the back so that's the lowest aboriginal elder design uh, Another iconic uh, coin to have is the Queen Jubilee 2013 uh, coin as well. Uh, as you can see, it's just around a million of these minted and a really iconic um, $2 printed colored coin to stack. Next is the most uh, famous current modern day coin uh, within Australia is uh, the 2012 uh, sea mint uh, colored coin so this is the red poppy uh, what an iconic place to be filming the red poppy in uh, the middle of Australia at Uluru as well uh, definitely one to have as well so uh, as you can see we're here out in the desert we've got a few flies we've got the red dirt uh, and we've got something that's very significant to Australia the red poppy uh, to the coin and then the most current, uh, modern, most popular coin now to collect is this 2023 Vietnam War cement coin. This is the silver proof version uh, with a proof state of 70. Uh, definitely a very collectible and desirable coin. Uh, they're probably getting a bit harder to collect now, but I'm definitely very happy to have that. And I thought, a uh, great coin to finish my collection of coins that are well this one's not in circulation but coins that uh, are in circulation uh, within Australia that you can collect looking at this most beautiful iconic uh, landmark within Australia let me know what your favorite uh, circulated coin is which ones do you like to collect and stack as well thanks for watching and joining the coin collecting community Dan.